Just five days until Selection Sunday and the guest list of the dance is rounding into shape. Hi and welcome to the Daily Sports Update presented, of course, by Toyota here on CBSSports.com. I'm Amber Wilson. Today, the Big Six Conference Championships begin with a slew of teams needing wins to go from on the bubble to in a bracket come Sunday. All the while, the mid-majors took center stage and powerhouses like VCU and Gonzaga didn't really help the case for the so-called BCS Conference teams needing space. Both teams lost in their conference championship games, opening up what many have thought to have been a one-bid conference into a two- or maybe three-bid Tuesday night, it was Butler's turn in the Horizon League Championship game. The Bulldogs came into last night's contest with Cleveland State ranked number 12 in the country and with a resume worthy of an at-large bid. But teams like Syracuse, Arizona, Florida, and the like needed them to clinch an automatic berth. But unlike the Zags and VCU, Butler was able to win its league with a 70-55 win over Cleveland State. Mike Green matched a career-high 24 points and added 13 boards as the Bulldogs clinched their first automatic burst since 2001. They have secured at-large bids twice since, but have also been on the outside looking in as well. Two other teams punched tickets to the NCAAs last night as Oral Roberts took down IUPUI in the Summit League Championship game. And it was the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky holding off Middle Tennessee 67-57 in the Sun Belt Championship. Today, both the Big East and Pac-10 championships tip off, and you can follow all the action right here, of course, at CBSSports.com. The NBA's Western Conference is much like that of a bubble team, with each team's fate as unstable as the next. With just five games separating the first and eighth seed teams, any small slip-up could potentially find a contender watching the playoffs from home, or at least sliding into an unfavorable matchup. The Lakers had won 17 of 21 games coming into last night's game with Toronto, but after a loss to the Spurs on Sunday and a day off, they lost their sole possession of first place in the West. But Kobe Bryant was able to score 10 of his 34 points in the final eight and a half minutes of the fourth quarter to give LA a 117-108 win over Toronto and put them back a half a game ahead of San Antonio. The good news for the Lakers, Andrew Bynum tested his knee out on a treadmill yesterday. The bad news, they now embark on a brutal four-game road trip that starts in New Orleans before going through Dallas and Red Hot Houston before finishing up in Utah. The Jazz had been on a five-game win streak before running into the Bulls last night. Chicago was able to upend Utah 108-96 behind a balanced effort that had six Bulls scoring in double figures, including Drew Gooden, who put together his fourth double-double as a member of the Bulls. Don't look now, but Chicago is just half a game out of the final playoff spot in the East. A bit of history in the NHL last night as Oilers rookie Andrew Cogliano became the first player ever to record game-winning overtime goals in three straight games, this time defeating the Blues with less than five seconds to go in the game. And that will do it for the Daily Sports Update presented to you by Toyota. I'm Amber Wilson for CBSSports.com. Been right here for everything you need to know in the world of sports. And if you missed anything, stop, refresh, and rewatch, and have a fantastic day.